sis, let me just tell you woman to woman that I have seen this Bible verse play out exactly in my own marriage just as it is written. Hey lady, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl here, Sharonda Simone. So if you are a Christ follower who loves lifestyle videos and anything that helps you live your best life on purpose, then this is the channel for you. So be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so you never miss an upload because I would love to have you as a member of the sisterhood. Okay, so today's video is one that I know is going to help you if you are a wife and you are trying to just improve your marriage or your relationship, you're going to really enjoy this video. I have been meditating on this Bible verse for over a year now and I actually had to go back and refer to my journal. But it is like, <laughs> I mean, it's like it used to be gold and white, okay? Like it used to be. And look at it and then this strap it used to be nice and tight around it all the pages are used up which is such an accomplishment I'm one of those people where if I finish a chapstick I'm like good job you know so finishing an actual like notebook or journal is just it just gives me a sense of accomplishment so this was my 2017 Bible journal I guess you know where I would just talk to God and just write my thoughts and the, the verses I was meditating on and one of the verses that have um, that has absolutely just transformed my marriage and just really helped me as a wife become you know what I hope is a better wife than before is the verse in first Peter 3 and I am going to read it first from my New King James Version and if you don't have your Bible with you that's totally okay I will definitely uh, you know link the verse below and I encourage you to Read the verse on your own, meditate in your quiet time because I know that it's going to speak to you. But before I start, I just want to take a quick moment just to pray and ask the Holy Spirit just to help you receive the information. So go ahead, if you can, close your eyes. If you can't, then just pray with me in your heart. But Holy Spirit, I just come to you right now asking that you just help those who are watching and listening that their hearts would be open and that they would receive your word and that it would be a blessing to them and their marriages. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, so 1 Peter 3 verse 1 reads, Wives, likewise be submissive to your own husbands, that even if some do not obey the word, they without a word may be won by the conduct of their wives. And that's the New King James Version. Now, there is so much. I know that most wives, I mean, this is like a big discussion among Christian women and men to, you know, be submissive, be submissive. What does it mean? And I don't even want to focus on that part. I feel like that could be a whole other video in and of itself. But what really spoke to me as I was reading this verse is, yes, it's important for us as wives to submit to our husbands. This is a direct uh, requirement and order from God. And of course, your husband must submit to God so that there's a, you know, a chain of, of order in the house. And, you know, but for me, what really spoke to me was, I guess you could say part B or part two of the verse. And it says, if any of them, referring to the husbands, do not believe the word, they may be won over without words by the behavior of their wives. Verse two says, when they see the purity and reverence of their lives. Sis, like... This to me just, it helped me so much. And for me, when I read this verse, what spoke to me was kind of a sentiment that my mother always echoes. Like, look, you need to be the best spouse you can be. You need to be the best Sharonda you can be, the best wife, the best mother, the best doctor, because you can't control anybody else. And you know, we know that, it makes sense, right? We can't control, you can try and influence your children, you can try and influence your spouse, your best friend, but you can't control anyone else. And when I read this verse, it was liberating because this specifically says that by virtue of you, the wife, doing what you're supposed to do, being submissive, being pure, being obedient, doing the right thing, 
without words, without arguments, without whining, without, you know, begging, without pleading, without trying to persuade, just your actions alone, without arguing, you can influence the actions of your spouse. And that was so helpful to me. And it helped me because now I know that not every battle I have to verbally fight, not every argument I have to start because guess what? You be the best you and the word of God promises that by watching you, your spouse can come to do differently. You know, and this goes both ways, I'm sure. But this was specifically pertaining to wives when Peter was giving this word. It was for us. And so as a woman of God, yes, we know that we have a lot of control in our homes. And we should. We have, we are the maternal influence. We're the nurturers. We're the givers. We are the caretakers in our home. And sometimes that can get the better of us because we're like, we want everyone to win. We want everyone to be on top. We want everything just right, just perfect. But realistically speaking, you can't control anybody in your house. You can influence them. You can definitely, you know, put pressure on certain people to do right uh, or to change their actions, but you can't control anyone. And for you and your spouse to be on the same page is important. So when I read this this verse it just helped me so much because it was confirming what my mother had been telling me but also more importantly it was a promise it is a promise from God that if you do what you're supposed to do when your spouse sees your purity and your reverence they will be moved and you don't have to use words sometimes you can have peace in your home and that kind of leads me to, you know, the other part of this video is that, you know, there is a third person in my marriage and it's Holy Spirit. At all times, I invite Holy Spirit into everything that happens, whether we are in a good space or whether, you know, we're, we're not seeing eye to eye. But woman of God, look, it is going to be, it, it should be you, your spouse and Holy Spirit. And just reading this verse helps to confirm that which we already know, that if you do what you're supposed to do, then God is obligated to fulfill what what's in his word. And the word of God clearly says that yes, be submissive. And like I said, that's a whole nother video, but be submissive, but also by your doing the right thing, you can have influence in your husband's heart because he's going to see your conduct and he's going to be won over by your conduct, your actions. So. Be careful. Don't let your words be so loud that no one can can you know see what you're doing. Sometimes just move quietly. Just do the right thing and that will totally change, you know, the outlook in your home and in your spouse. And so for me it was just, it was awesome. And I've been, you know, meditating on this verse. It is one that comes up in my mind, you know, if there's ever a moment where I'm like, ooh, I want to say something or ooh, I wish, you know, no, no, no. Sometimes it's just me just being a good wife. Sometimes it's all it takes. And sis, let me just tell you, woman to woman, that I have seen this Bible verse play out exactly in my own marriage, just as it is written. Before my husband and I even sat down as a couple just to meditate and just talk about this Bible verse, he pulled me to the side and he was like, yo, honey, I noticed that like your mother game, your wife game, your attentiveness, your care and compassion, your diligence, your, I mean, just your whole zeal for being a good mom and a good wife, it has like totally transformed. And I remember thinking to myself like, whoa, it's good because sometimes you want for your spouse or other people to see your hard work, but you don't want to say, look at me, look at me, look what I'm doing, you know? And so for him to notice my efforts without me having to come and say, hey, I'm doing all these things and I don't see a change, it was just... It was a confirmation, like God's word is true. And so when he pulled me to the side and told me that, it of course like just warmed my heart and I was like, yes, thank you, thank you Holy Spirit, you know, like I'm on the right track. But then the second thing that he told me was even more mind blowing. He said, because of the change I've noticed in you, because apparently there were things that he wanted me to work on too that we had probably talked about or argued about or we hadn't even gotten to that point yet. But he told me, he was like, because of the change that I see in you, you make me want to get closer to God because I know that it has to only be God that has caused all of this, you know, positive change in your life. And sis, it just, it was like, uh, it was just a great feeling. And I want for you to feel that also. And God's word is true. If he says it, 
that's how it has to be. So literally, I'm telling you, not just because I read it and I've digested it, but because I've seen it play out in my own home. And my husband is wonderful. But I have personally seen like him just change and just become an even better person, you know, over time. And it's because of Holy Spirit, yes, but it's also because of just the diligence, I believe, by applying 1 Peter 3 verses 1 and 2. Like, because that's what God's word says, you know. So I don't want you to be encouraged and I wanted to come and let you know, like, I'm not just talking, you know, from a wish and a hope and a prayer, like, I hope it works. Like, it works. So these are the kind of things that I want to share with you on this channel. So if you like things like this, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, as well as comment down below. Let me know if you have any other Bible verses that you want to share with the sisterhood here. All right, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll be back very, very soon. Soon, so check back. All right. So don't forget to keep the faith, focus on family and always have fun. Bye.